So what is the significance of the birth of John the Baptist? Today we celebrate the great solemnity of the birth of John the Baptist. It is interesting to note that besides Mary and Jesus, that John is the only saint whose birth and death we celebrate. With all other saints, we only celebrate the day that they died and was received into heaven. Well, in our gospel today, in the gospel of Luke chapter one, we see the event that is very significant, both literally in history and then also symbolically from the writer of the gospel. Zechariah, through the entire pregnancy of Elizabeth, has been silent. He asked questions of the angel that he shouldn't have asked, almost in disobedience and rebellion, and he is struck silent. And then we see that as John the Baptist is born, they're going to call him Zechariah after his father. But Elizabeth says, no, his name will be John. And then Zechariah agrees. When he does submit to the will of God and says, yes, this child will be called John, his mouth opens and he's able to speak. And it's significant because the silence of Zechariah is symbolic of the way in which all of the prophets had fallen silent for a long time. John's birth is significant because it marks the beginning of a new covenant. You could say that John the Baptist is a hinge prophet, a hinge prophet between the old covenant and the new covenant established through the blood of our Lord Jesus. John would say that I'm not even worthy to loosen the sandal straps of the one who's coming after me. Completely humble, completely focused and devoted to his one mission, which was to point the way to Jesus. And you and I are called to be like John the Baptist. We are called to give voice to the good news, to humble ourselves and to make our lives about something greater than ourselves. And that something is Jesus.